Hello everyone and welcome back. My name is McKenna and if you don't know me already, I will be a freshman at Stanford University this upcoming fall. So I wanted to show you guys all of the different things that I got for my back to school. I'm not sure if it'll be too much or just enough or anything in between. Honestly, I don't know if I'm going to be in California or if I'm going to be here at my house in Colorado. So at some point, you know, I'll find out. But until then, I have all of this stuff and I'm ready to move. So here are the things that I bought specifically for school supplies and I'll have a separate dorm haul that I'm gonna do. I just got a bunch of boxes from Dormify so I'm super excited to open that up. I have like $800 worth of stuff from Dormify and then a couple hundred dollars worth of stuff that I bought on my own. And so that's gonna be a huge dorm haul where I show you all the stuff that I'll be putting in my prospective dorm room. But without further ado, here are all the supplies that I bought for this upcoming school year. So first of all, I got this really nice North Face backpack. I like it, it has a lot of different pockets, like you can see right here. This is actually a pocket, this big flap. I did not know that when I bought it, but I think that's a super cool feature. And then it has a side pocket right here. You can put, I'm not even sure what you can put in here. Let's see, just about anything, a wallet if you really wanted to. I usually put my wallet in the water bottle holder, which is on this side, but I guess this year, since I have this front pocket, I can put my keys in this. And then you have this little top slot up here, and I'll show you this. You unzip it. That's where you can keep your phone. So that's a nice little device pocket. It's softly lined, so it doesn't scratch up your devices or anything. And then we have this big front pocket. So to get into the front pocket, unzip it here. And it has two other pockets inside of it. So it has this flap that you can keep some like folders if you want to. I'll probably put folders in there. And then it has this major flap right here. I'll probably put binders in there. And then this smaller one, I'm not exactly sure what I put in it. It's probably actually meant for keys because it has this little thing on it. And I usually attach my keys to that. But who knows? I will figure out what I use it for. And then the largest flap that we have on this backpack is the computer side. And so you can put books, I would say, back here, and then your computer goes directly in here. It also has that very soft fabric, and it is padded to protect your computer. So this backpack was $85 off of NorthFace.com. I originally bought this one. I had to buy this twice because they sent me the wrong backpack the first time, and then I had to rebuy it. So this is really nice. It's called the Isabella. It's the women's backpack, and this one is the maroon version. It's a new version this year. So I really like it. Hopefully it'll be super functional. Last year I had one of those Kankin ones and it had one pocket and I could not fit anything in it. So this hopefully will be more utilitarian. The next thing I got for back to school, and I'll scoot up for this one, are these pens and this pen holder. So the pen holder itself came from the container store and the pens in here, this one also came from the container store. They're Uli um, highlighters. These came from Amazon.com. They're knockoff Muji's. And then these are just basic Papermate felt tips. And these are G2's. So I really like the G2's for note taking and these also for note taking. I think I'll probably start and move on to these ones this year, but these are the ones that I typically use. So this organizer is actually supposed to go like this, but I swapped it and changed these so it actually opens from this side and then you can use it like that. And I think that's super useful because I can organize all my pens into one little thing and it's the perfect size for them. The next two things I got for back to school are this Quip toothbrush and floss. So the floss and the toothbrush together were probably about $60. I would say the toothbrush was $40 and this was $15. You add tax in and that's like, yeah, that's about $60. So I got it in the copper metal. I thought this one was really pretty. And I think it's a very useful, small, and sleek toothbrush to take with me. I like electric toothbrushes. I've used them in the past. I don't use one currently, but I'm hoping to transition over to this one. And then I like this floss because I usually use the disposable ones. Those are not eco-friendly, so I'm switching over to something that's more disposable and eco-friendly. So this next item is actually a sneak peek of my dorm supply haul. It is this cute little LED light box. It's color changing too, so they had two options. One was just the plain on off, and this one is actually LED, so you can change it to any color. And then I got these really cute gold and silver letters. So I'm not exactly sure what I'm gonna spell out with it, but I have a lot of options. I might put my name in here, might say something Stanford, I don't know, who knows. But I got this really cute design decor. I'm not a big decor person normally, but I really want to have a cute dorm room so it's not depressing when I'm taking my online classes. Also with the dorm decor, I got these LED lights. 
Um, they are photo clips, so it's like a big curtain of lights, as you can kind of see right there. And then you can clip little lights on it. So one of my gifts that I got for Christmas this year was one of those little cutesy Polaroid cameras, and I'm hoping to clip up some really cute pictures of me and my friends with this. The next couple of items that I got go in my backpack specifically. First one is this little tiny college ruled notebook. I like to have, the, I'm a big doodler, and I always like to have an extra notebook where I can keep all my doodles. This one is, it's as big as my hand. Like it's tiny, and I just wanna be able to write little scribbles in there. I usually get a composition notebook for that purpose, but I wanted something smaller. Then I got a bunch of note cards. I got one set of blank. So blank ones, that would be for drawing diagrams, I guess. I don't exactly know what I'm gonna use the blank ones for. Usually I also doodle on those. I have a doodling problem, I really do. And then um, this massive one that is college ruled index notes, 500. I got these from Office Max. Same with these other ones, the blank ones, also from Office Max. And I just like to have note cards if I'm taking small notes, if I have a to-do list for the day, I put them on a note card and I'll keep that with me. So I thought these would be nice to have. I was running out of them at home as well. This next item is super important. I have to have one every single year on paper and that is a planner. So I also got this from Office Max. I think these ones are super nice because of how they're bound. They have this cover over their binding and that means when you put it in a bag with other notebooks that have spiral binding, it doesn't get all bound together with them. So I always have that problem in my bags where the spirals will all like grab onto each other and I can never pull them out. So I like to have a planner that looks like this because my planners break year after year if they don't have it. I like this one specifically because of its size. I'll use my hand for scale again. It's one and one third hand. And when you open it up, it comes with all of these really cute little tabs that you can use to organize stuff. And this ruler, which I found to be very, very useful. I lose my rulers all the time, but having one in here has made it so I don't lose it and can measure stuff on the dot whenever I need to, you know, all that measuring you do. So this little pocket, you can, I mean, you can put your note cards. Oh, it came off. You can put your note cards in here, small notes, anything on your to-do list. I like to do that as well. They do fall out kind of easily, but they're very useful to hold on to. I like this planner specifically as well because it gives you a section for each day. So I don't like the ones that either give a full page, like a full page for each day is too much. I don't like to schedule out my time because I never do things exactly on time, but I like ones that have a little to-do list. So this one allows you to say like, oh, I have this item that I need to do now and this item and check them off. And then you get that slight gratification that you finally did something with your day. Oh, and this one is also really nice because it comes with a calendar in between every single month. I like to put my major events on this part of the calendar and also on each individual day. So my next set of items are just notebooks. I got all of my notebooks in white this year. I'm not sure if that's strange or not, but I wanted everything to kind of be the same matching color scheme. And so I can doodle, I should stop doodling. I can color the front on here if I wanna make it a different color or something or wanna write a name or whatever I wanna do with it, but it has a standard color with it. And I thought that would be nice because usually I have like a mix match of all of these different colors and none of them ever go together. So I got everything in white except for my planner. And what I really love is these Office Max ones. Not only is the paper inside super duper nice, um, the binding never comes apart, it's so nice. And the best part about this is it also has a graphing paper version. So if you've ever wondered like, how do I keep my graphing paper and not just have loose leaf graphing paper? I'll show you. These ones are graphing paper notebooks. And every single page is graphing paper. I love to use these in math, even if it's not a graphing math class. It's super nice to be able to organize all of my math down here and row it out, you know, just have everything kind of fit that mathematical physics-y stem vibe right but i think these ones are super useful i didn't even know these existed until about two years ago and having that like i've not gone back to loose leaf graph paper it's so nice and then if you just want to see the quality of these this is the paper like they're very dark lines i hate those light line papers 
These come with nice dark lines, the, it's very soft paper, easy to write on, and it's not like a non-standard size. Sometimes when I get notebooks, they'll come with paper inside that's like a weird size. This is not a weird size. It's very nice paper, standard size, dark lines. So I got about four of those notebooks. I'm not sure how many I'll use, but I just wanted to have them to hold on to as well. They're on sale. Not as big of a sale that I wanted, but they were on sale, so I got them. The next two things I got were pens. So these are Papermate Inkjoy pens. I love these ones. I've never bought them personally and I got them as a gift this year. And they are just, I love writing with these pens. They go on super smooth, they rarely smear, and I think they're just really enjoyable to write with. They also come with so many different colors. So I got this one. There's a lot of different colors in it. And then I also got these gel pens. They're kind of like the G2s, but they're the Office Max brand version. And I got these solely because they have my favorite color blue in there. So this color right here, you'll notice that I buy a lot of stuff in this exact color. And so I wanted this one because of the variety. The next thing that I got was this really cute swing line stapler. So not only do I love it because of its colors, this is the color of my dorm room. Everything is themed light pink color but also because it was like a three in one. So it came with the staples, the staple remover and the stapler, which I was gonna buy them all separately, but this one comes with all of them together. This was from Target. It was also on sale. I think it was like $7. So this was a great deal and I just had to get it. I also got a standard two Sharpies. I expect to lose one midway through the year and lose the other one by the end of the year. So that's why I'm getting two specifically and these ones, I always just find it nice to have a basic standard Sharpie. If you're writing on a non-standard surface, these are great. Um, non-standard as in, please don't vandalize with them, but like a binder per se is a great thing that you can write on with Sharpies and it won't smear. The next thing I got was this standard white Avery binder. I should, I should stop doing this because I'm not sure if you can hear me like that, but I got it in a heavy duty. It's also the D ring type of binder. So when you open it up, it has these rings. They look like little Ds and then you can open it with just one hand. I always find these super useful too. So I got this one, standard D-ring binder. These also have two pockets. So this little pocket and this larger pocket. Usually I use the larger pocket for more permanent things like a class syllabus. And I use this little one for things like homework, stuff that gets removed on a daily to weekly basis. That just means that these ones get preserved back here and they're kept within this binder while these ones are more accessible towards the front. The next thing I got, of course, is scissors. I feel like these will be pretty useful during my time in college. I'm not sure exactly what I'll be scissor- I'm not exactly sure what I'll need to cut, but I'm pretty sure this will be useful if I have, uh, say, a box to open from Amazon because I will be shipping myself a lot of things. They were pretty cheap and even though they're not the cutest, I know they'll last a long time because the scotch ones usually last a good while. The next thing I got, of course, standard white again, are these really nice five-star mead folders and so I never get the paper folders the paper ones are always so much prettier but they always break these ones never break on me and especially these ones they do not have the little crimp on the side you know those ones that have like the three prong crimp these ones don't have it so they lay flat in binders and I really like to put folders inside of my binders to keep stuff organized so I got two of these let me wait ASMR you for a second It has this like really cool textured surface that I love. Um, and I'll show you the little details on the inside. So first of all, it always has these little dog ears and you can lay down your papers flat inside of them. Some of them will come with the little like folder down here, the little clear folder. These ones don't have them. I didn't know that when I bought them, but I don't really use it for anything, so I don't mind. But these are just some nice standard folders. They will not break. The ones that I used in high school, I'm pretty sure are still holding together today. And I used them for three to four years. So. I just wanted some new, fresher ones for college, but these ones are really great. Then for my single binder that I got, because I'm not sure if I'm gonna need it for college, is a single thing of binder dividers. So they're really cute. They come in all these colors. You can see them on the side. It's this blue, pink, black, white, light blue. I'm struggling with my colors at the moment, but when you flip it around, you can see that each one of them has a different 
pattern on the back of it. So you can see on this thing, there's a bunch of different patterns that also come with them. So if you wanted to flip them over, you got a really cool pattern divider as well. So I bought these, I think they're cute. I like the light pastel-y colors on them and they're pretty cheap. I got these at Target as well. Then I got this big thing of reinforced paper. I always like the ones with the plastic on the side. I just think it's nicer to have this reinforcing. These ones are interesting because they have the little triangle. These are ones are specifically for binders, I think. And so I really like this because I know that Five Star always makes really good paper, but I was able to get this this year at Target for pretty cheap. So I bought this paper. I also don't think I'll need as much free paper this year as I would in a normal year, especially since I'm not handing in physical papers, but they're all digital. So this is just for my own note taking and my own scratch work. Next thing I got was this giant pad of, ooh, of calendar paper. So basically this is a giant notepad that is just set up like a calendar. And there's almost 40 sheets in here. I think there's exactly enough for three years worth of calendar sheets and you can make one fresh every single month it comes out standard and blank this one i was just playing around it says august at the top because this is that month it's august already oh my god we've been in quarantine for five months but i got this paper because i wanted to be able to organize it i'm going to pin it up on my wall and then i'll have a second organizational piece of paper that i can lay out all my day's events and all my week's events so i thought this would be a useful thing to have again i got it from the container store and it was $23. I also got this really nice expansion hub from Anchor off of Amazon. I'm gonna be using it on my MacBook Pro this year, and I hate my Mac just because it doesn't have any of these slots, so it has seven different ports, HDMI, SD card, USB, and lightning, so this is something super useful that I've been meaning to buy. It was $50. I'm not sure if that was overpriced or not, but I still, I had to pay it, so I got this as well. The last item that I got was this really, really cute pencil holder. This is from Amazon.com, and I think I actually might have some pens in here. Oh, I don't have any pens in here. Never mind. But it's called the Classic Pocket. And if you just look up pencil bag or something on Amazon, this is one of the top ones that will come up. It is Japanese, I think. And it just has all of these li little different compartments. First of all, you can unzip it, put erasers or whatever you want in here. The next one, these can be your favorite pens. You put them in here. And then you can flip them over and then you have this giant pocket, which actually is expandable. Wait, let me see if I can figure this out. Yeah, this way. And then if you puff it up, right? You got this whole compartment for all of your favorite pens. Now, I'm not sure if you're a pen person, but I'm a pen person and a pencil person. I hoard them just a little bit too much, but this gives me all the room that I need to hoard my pens comfortably. It's from Angu. I'm not sure if that's actually how you pronounce it. It's A-N-G-O-O. -O. You can kind of see it on there. And it's on Amazon.com. It was about $13. So this was super affordable. I really like it. It's really it's soft feeling. I don't like plastic pencil holders, especially in my backpack. So if you have a standard desk that you're sitting at every day and you can get one of those big plastic ones, those are not bad. They're super cheap as well, so they're affordable. But I really like these soft ones because they can fit in my bag. This one can collapse down to a small size as well. So it can fit really easily in my new backpack. Oh. It did have pens in it, they just fell out. So that was the last item of my back to school haul. Hopefully you've learned about some new items through here. I will be going over all of the different items that I bought for my dorm in a separate video. There's just way too many items to fit it also in this video. So be sure to tune in and subscribe if you haven't already so you can be alerted when I come out with that video within the next couple weeks. All right, see you guys next time.